first I'll do a little demonstration of what all of my hockeys are. So when you select a villager, we have villager build, which is on A. So A for villager build. Or sorry, that that was S. A for villager build. And then it's just grid layout to start. So like house, mill, mining camp, lumber camp, dock. Like, oh, we can't build a dock in that area. But anyways, um, it's just the layout. So it's like A, Q, W, E, R, and T. So just the top row. So it's pretty easy to place things. So it, like when I'm going A, Q, I, I usually just use the fourth finger and just like jump a little bit and you can just hold shift to place multiple so that's pretty standard you just hold shift so pretty easy stuff um for the second row well it, it's basically just exactly the same so we'll have to go up um my up hotkey is on c so here let me just turn on a just cheat so we'll go all, all the way up oh we don't have a we don't have a mill that's why we can't build stuff there we go. So it's like farm, AA, blacksmith, market, monastery, university, PC. I don't think I have a wonder hotkey uh, set. Oh, it's it's on. Oh, it is on X. Okay, I've never used the wonder hotkey, but uh, anyways, it is still in the the grid. So there we go. That's how it goes. And for military production, it's just exactly the same. For um, for military, you just press S, and then it's like uh, S, S Q, S W, S E, S R, um, and then outpost, palisade, stone wall, tower, stone gate, palisade gate, and castle. So it's just completely, completely in the grid for all villager buildings. Everything is just set up grid. There's no modifications for those things. And there's really no need to. Um, so here, let's just get rid of some stuff here. There we go. Nice. And I'm just using delete. I just used delete, as you guys could see. I was just pressing delete. Oh, I killed him. Whoops. Uh, anyways, we have another one. And okay, so yeah, that's basically how I'm using villager. When you're using the town center. So in terms of town center, garrison is E for me. And then ungarrison is Z. And for go back to work, I have it on tab. So it doesn't really matter. Just tab was just an open hotkey. I used to have it on G, but that overlaps with my stable hotkey. So, um, yeah, having it on tab doesn't overlap with anything here. What I use tab for is attack move. So it, it's completely fine to have it overlapping with, uh, with this because it's kind of not really... When you have a building selected, then you're not attack moving with units. So it's fine to have that overlap a little bit. No problem. But yeah, so we have that. Um, I'll go through each of the upgrade hotkeys. So Loom, I just have on X. Wheelbarrow is on D. And the Town Watch, S. So we can go Barracks. And look, look, I won't even use my mouse for anything here. Because we have all of the, the stuff here. So for Militia... We have E, we have F for Spearman, and for um, for Eagle, do I? What do I even have it on Eagles? It's on W. I know I rarely make Eagles, but um, yeah. So uh, since I don't play a lot of the Mesosivs, I actually didn't have that one memorized, but it is on W. So supplies is X, Squires is C, and Arson is B. So we've got all of the barracks hotkeys onto the archery range, and yeah. So oops, here. So for, oops, ah, I selected the wrong thing. Um, for select all barracks, I have it on R. For select all ranges, I have on T. For select all stables, G. Um, Siege workshops, N. Monastery is uh, J. Um, so those are for my five military production buildings. Um, yeah, I accidentally researched Sanctity in here, which was E. But anyways, we'll, we'll go back to that later. So we went through the barracks. For Crossbowman, Z. Uh, Thumbring is C. Skirmisher, is, or Elite Skirmisher is X. Um, Parthian Tactics is D. Or sorry, Parthian Tactics is W. 
D was for just for the um, Elite Elephant Archer. Mm, I thought it was on D, but okay, I must have changed at some point. Anyways, these these Imperial Age upgrades don't really matter too too much. Uh, but yeah, so heavy cav archer on Q. I don't really. I usually would just manually press it. These ones, these Imperial Age upgrades, uh, I don't have memorized all the time because it's like you do it once every hundred games or whatever. Well, maybe not that infrequently, but uh, once in a very long time. So I just have not really taken the time to memorize them. It's not the biggest deal. And uh, yeah, anyways. So onto the stable, we've got Light Cav on Z, we've got Bloodlines on E, Husbandry on W, and then I have Cavalier on X. Uh, what's Camel? Camel's on C. Yeah, I don't really, uh, I don't really use that one, and I don't really use the uh, Battle. Oh, it's not even Bound Battle Elephant. Yeah, these Imperial Lich upgrades again. Just I'm usually just clicking them. It's not the biggest deal. Okay, so for the Siege Workshop, uh, Zed for the Battering Ram, um, and of course, Armored Elephant, same thing. Uh, X for the Onager, and is, is Heavy Scorpion on C? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I don't normally click that one, but yeah, it is on C. So next up is the Monastery. We have D for Redemption, E for Sanctity, which I already got, and W for Fervor. So... I have these hotkey setups kind of the same as the stable, so E for the HP one, so Bloodlines and Sanctity are on the same one, and then W for the uh, Husbandry and also for Fervor, so that's how I did it. My Squire's hotkey's on C though, so it's not completely consistent, but yeah. Um, in terms of the other upgrades, like I have Block Printing on X, usually I'm just clicking these ones. Once I get to Imperial Age, I just click them, um, yeah. So anyways, uh, upgrade hotkeys are quite important, but um, yeah, sometimes the Imperial Age upgrade hotkeys, it's like you really don't use them that much, so it just takes a bit longer to memorize them, or you could do some, some memorization of those, but I just don't have them all memorized. Anyways, it's not the biggest deal. Okay, so in terms of unit creation, I'm just using the grid kind most of the time. So we have Men at Arms on A, Pikeman on S. For Eagles, I have it on G, so it just skips one. For range, A, S, D, and um, elephant archers, yeah, we, we have those on E. Um, I don't think there's any overlap, though. I thought I had it on D, but uh, anyways, it's fine. It's on E. And for hand cannoneers, we have it on F. So first, we'll go here and, oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, my university is on control U, and then chemistry is on S, so that's what I just did. Uh, anyways, so now we can make hand cannons, which is on F. The stable, we have A, S, D, F, and that's just all of them. Step Lancer's on the same hotkey as Battle Elephant, but in this scenario, they just overlap. There's no Civ that has both of these units, so it's fine to have overlaps there. But anyways, um, F would be for Step Lancer or Elite Battle Elephant. Okay. Um, oh yeah, also centering the camera on a building. Basically, what I'm doing is select all say select all ranges here and then pressing space bar to center the camera so that's really useful if you have the monastery so say that you're going out to get a relic selecting the monk going to the place clicking the relic or yeah clicking the relic space bar back to the monk shift q back to the monastery and that's how i usually do it so yeah um you don't really want to be using the mouse for anything that you don't have to be uh so yeah anyways to the siege workshop a s d um and f just same grid I don't have a siege tower hotkey bound because I don't want to misclick it but I mean I do create them sometimes I create them probably more than most other people but yeah you only really need one a lot of the time but uh yeah anyways so we'll go to the monastery and then it's just a for that so pretty easy stuff um let's just delete everything also as you can see I didn't I didn't touch the mouse at all so for select all military I for Select idle military, I have it on comma. For select all military, I have it on shift comma. And then I just shift delete everything. So there we go. For university, I have the important hotkey set. So I have masonry on W. Or no, that's Q. Um, yeah, I don't even remember what the, the keys are called. They're just all muscle memory at this point. Uh, I have the siege engineers on D. And ballistics on E. Chemistry was on S as well, which is for Bombard Tower as well. So I don't use hotkeys for any other of these things. I just click them. 
and it's fine. Like I have this on W, but uh, I'm, I'm never really clicking it. I, I could probably set treadmill crane maybe, it's probably useful, but I just don't research these very often, so I, I didn't bother selecting them. The next building is the blacksmith, so I have that on control S. So control S is to select all blacksmiths. For blacksmiths, I'd rather not have to recenter the camera mid-fight. Like, imagine you're you're microing some units and whatever you want to you want to pick up armor. Okay, uh, you go for blacksmith and then you just get it and then you you just resume. So it's like, boom! I just got fletching and now I'm still microing. So I never have to jump back to my buildings if I want to just get an upgrade. So it's like, oh, I'm I'm fight, fighting. Okay, now I can get um thumb uh, thumb ring because I have the archery range and now I just go back to microing. So it's like. Can even do it mid volley. Boom, thumb ring, and then go back. Boom, boom, thumb ring, and then go back. And you just can easily do stuff like that. For the blacksmith, it's just it's just grid again, like A S D and then Z X. So super simple. Oh yeah, I didn't go through castle as well. So castle, castle I have on Y. Um, kind of forgot about that. And then it's just A S D, same grid. I have the elite upgrade on X. I have conscription on W, and I have hoardings. I think it's on E. No, no, no. I I usually just click for this one. I have it on O. Yeah, yeah. And I, I never use that one. I I just always click for it. And and P is for sappers. Yeah, I never use those two hotkeys ever. But uh, it's not really the most important. The other buildings that we need to go through are um, oh yeah, mill, mining camp, lumber camp. So those are the three economic buildings. For mill, I have it on Control X, which is, and then I have horse collar on X, so I go Control X and then X, and that's how I do it. So it's the same for lumber camp. I go Control Z and then Z for the upgrade. Now for the mining camp, uh, what did I have it on again? Um, yeah, Control F. Oh yeah, yeah it's Control F. I, I actually need to use this more. Control F, and then it, this is just grid layout, so like A and S for these. So Control Z, Z, Control X, X. Control F A S, so that's how I have these um, for my economic buildings, and yeah, I mean that's basically what matters here. Yeah, of course, Bombard Tower was unlocked, so we have that now. But it's again just in the grid. Um, what am I forgetting? Oh, market. So the market. Oh, market. We have that on Control V. So control V, pretty pretty simple. It's not too far away, and um, yeah, super useful. So trade cart is on A, um, and I don't I don't really have the other ones set. I I don't really play team games, so I don't really use these. Um, I use guilds a lot, but I just didn't set a hotkey for it. I didn't want to misclick it, and I don't have hotkeys for these because you really don't want to be misclicking these at all. So I I always click, and I think it's just better to click for these things. So yeah. Um, and oh I guess there's the dock hotkeys too so you know build dock is just in the grid we have a dock up here so um, my my select docks select all docks is on M I just use my thumb for these far ones it's not really hard a is for fishing ship but then s is for fire galley F is for galley and demo is D so I, I just remember those things and then yeah I don't really I don't really use the hotkeys for the these because I just don't really play water maps a lot so you know I have I have them set uh, I don't even have all of them set. I just have War Galley set. But yeah, I, I don't really use hockeys um, for the upgrades here. And just I just remember G is Cannon Galley. So as long as you remember the actual ships, it's kind of fine. Because, well, you're just going to be building a whole lot more ships than upgrades. Okay, I think that's, that's everything for the building commands. Now, next is military unit commands because of course there still are you still have to be able to use your units right we showed off garrison already so garrison with e ungarrison z for ungarrison and then tab for go back to work we have set rally point as uh what is that q so that's for when you're bringing in a boar you set the rally point on the boar or when you're bringing in deer really useful i don't have a hotkey for town bell because you really don't want to click that one and okay so in terms of the units I don't ever use follow but I do use guard sometimes like when I'm when I have a spearman and I want to guard some villagers I just have them guard and then basically the unit falls behind 
and they do follow pretty far away so you still have to be pay paying attention but that at least they follow the unit that you're you're doing if you use the follow hockey they don't actually attack so um say that we switch to this guy and we have uh okay here let's just have one of these we'll go back here so if we're on guard the pikeman will actually attack the militia see pikeman attacks the militia but if we have him on follow then he won't actually attack he'll just follow and not attack so guard is more useful for this kind of situation people will use follow on deer but um it's it's not the biggest deal i think so that was my use case for guard the other one is patrol so i have that on cue and what patrol does is it just makes your dude dudes go back and forth so it's like you patrol and then they go back and forth um you can actually set up uh cues for patrol so you can have them kind of patrolling in a circle sort of uh oh yeah of course they're gonna he's gonna kill that um and then we can oh whoops it's, the building is too close we can patrol kind of you can you can set up shift cues for this but then they they kind of like <laughs> go back like this there we go so you, you can make them patrol like that but usually you're just doing a line anyways it's not the biggest deal and uh yeah so it's kind of interesting attack move just makes them go straight now there is a small difference between attack move and patrol when you're using army as well so here let's just get a bigger army it's fine and i'll just show you real quick you should be using attack move and patrol for uh military use because it just makes your dudes not do a little jiggle on the current patch hopefully they fix that at some point but currently like attack move makes them go like this so you just move and they stay in this nice horizontal line if you use patrol then they go into this vertical line see it's a little bit different so we have the difference between patrol and attack move as you can see vertical line versus horizontal line if you go vertical line they kind of just bunch up a bit it's not always great but keeping them in the horizontal line is sometimes kind of good so yeah there we go uh but if you go focus fire which is the easiest way look they do a little jiggle after each attack so they move like nowhere after each attack because they just decide to do some kind of regrouping dance and it just makes your guys just die harder so it's just not good to to focus fire on current patch because it's just very bad i like to use attack move or patrol usually attack move is my go-to and that's on tab for me so yeah uh we have the other commands which are these ones so the middle row so we have aggressive stance it's just grid a d and then uh or sorry a s d i don't have any for no attack stance because i very rarely use that f is for stop so they unfortunately this also does the little jiggle when you uh when you use stop once they fix this this will probably be the best way to micro is stop but right now your dudes move like nowhere if you use stop just because of this uh regrouping issue so see how they go back half a tile before moving forward it's just bad so there's some ways some reasons to use stop micro but um anyways it's it's good for getting that initial shot because if you stop they instantly fire whereas if you go attack move they walk half a tile before actually shooting so if you if you really need to get that that instant shot off then um stop can be good otherwise attack move if you're just consistently microing we have repair so repair is on d it's useful to have a, a hotkey for repair because if you right click you're, you're just gonna misclick something else like you'll you'll try and attack the enemy unit or something so say that the enemy has cavalry attacking your walls or something and you want to not misclick it repair on d and then you just issue a repair um treb pack unpack oh yeah okay so it's kind of weird i don't have an unpack hotkey because well you just click stuff to unpack it pretty much oh yeah mangonel attack around as well yep that's that's a good one okay so when i have the trebuchet shooting which it will there we go so i have it on i put it on alt x that's what it was yeah when i'm actually playing i remember it but yeah it's only um since i have the aegis cheat on it goes instantly but yeah alt x it's kind of a little bit awkward but it doesn't conflict with other hotkeys like this so attack round for all units is on w so attack round w w really easy 
And that doesn't really conflict with anything. Because, yeah. It conflicts with guard. But, I mean, I'm not using these things to ever guard. So, it's completely fine. Just trying to think if there's any other... Oh, yeah. I guess unload for siege towers as well. It's a little bit different. So, unload is on a different hotkey. So, yeah. We have... Um, it's just on Z. Just straight up Z. It's bugged right now. So, you can only unload four units at a time. But hopefully they fix that pretty soon. It's just Z. No problem. And maybe the best way to use your siege tower these days is just to delete it so that you have all five of the guys out at the same time. But uh, yeah, there we go. Um, and that's going to be the same for rams as well. Oh, we've got to create one of these rams. It just conflicts because of the scenario. So say that we have dudes inside here. Just Z. And for rams, you actually don't need to set a location. So for the siege tower, you have guys in here. You have to set a location where where they go. Whereas for rams, you just press Z and they unload. Now one of the problems is when you have multiple multiple rams, because then it conflicts with the um, it conflicts with the formation. So see, I'm pressing Z and it's conflicting with the line formation. So I think I had it on Control Z at some point, or I had it on on some other hotkey, but it just wasn't really working for me. So I, I think that it's fine to just click them quickly, like you just go Z Z like that, a and then you'll be ungarrisoning the specific ones that you want, anyways, which is probably okay. Can't spam Z for mass unload, unfortunately not. Yeah, because it conflicts with line formation. Um, so it works for single target, and I, I think it's fine to just be clicking them. You just have to be a little bit faster. But, uh, well, rams are slow. You have lots of time. Ah, oh, yeah, gates. So we have gates. Um, I have unlock and lock on D. So you can just easily lock and unlock. That's great for, um, say that you're just building a gate, and right as soon as it comes up, you lock it right away. That is the way. Farm reseed is on C. <laughs> yeah, and I don't use the reseed farm. Mm, oh, I guess there are unique buildings like uh, Donjon, which is on... Uh, I think it's... Oh, yeah, it's also on my tower hotkey. Pretty sure? Or maybe it's on... No, no, I'm pretty sure it is. Then it's just like grid hotkey for the sergeant and the spearman on the inside. So those are my hotkeys. If anybody missed anything, go back in the stream and watch it. I will be uploading this to YouTube. Well... I'm, I'm going to cut it a little bit to make it a little bit more digestible for YouTube. And yeah, thanks for watching.